The all new Mustang is finally here and now is the time to place your order. But the problem is there are so many different trim levels, equipment groups, and packages that it is almost impossible to fully understand. But I'm going to do my best to dissect every single option so that way you get the information that you need. It's going to be hectic. I'll go ahead and tell you that right now, but that's because it is in detail. So buckle up, sit tight, and get you a snack if you want to, and let's show you how you should order your new Mustang. What's up guys, Mitchell Watts, Town & Country TV. Let's just jump straight into it. So the very first thing is, I'm gonna go over a couple of different changes from the 2023 model into the 2024. By the way, this is all going off of the ordering guide. I'm looking at the building price on Ford.com and I'm like, holy smokes, there's a lot of different variations, a lot of different versions, and I'm gonna try and make this a very simple to understand video. Now, the very first thing is the Mach 1 is gone, 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 gone. And Ford is actually claiming that replacing it is the dark horse. That's gonna be coming a little bit later in this video. So stick around for that because it's crazy how they build out this dark horse. The other thing is, is the 2.3 liter four cylinder EcoBoost is a all new motor for 2024. So that's very exciting. This next one, I cannot believe I'm fixing to say this. You have an available drift brake on all of the different Mustangs. There's a caveat to that, but I never thought that I would see a factory installed drift brake on any car, much less a Mustang and even a 2.3 liter EcoBoost Mustang. But anyways, a couple of other things, performance package. Now you have remote rev when you get the active exhaust on the 2.3 and the GT. So keep in mind, you can, with the key fob, hit a button and the car will rev it up automatically. <laughs> the cars and coffee is going to be lit from here on. But anyways, here's another interesting note about this. The Mustang, they got rid of the manual transmission in the EcoBoost. So now if you want an EcoBoost Mustang, the 2.3, it's going to come with an automatic transmission, no matter what. To get a manual, you've got to step up into the GT realm which hashtag save the manuals. <laughs> Anyways. All right, next up, a couple different things. We've got the unique fascia, different bumper, if you will, for the EcoBoost, the GT, and the Dark Horse. They've all got unique bumpers, which I think is pretty cool. In addition to that, you've also got hood struts are now gonna be standard equipment across the board on all Mustangs. I think that is fantastic. And there's also quite a few different colors on the outside. Vapor blue metallic, yellow splash metallic, and blue ember metallic are all going to be included in that. And there's a few deleted colors as well as you can see right there on the screen, uh, as well as the interior colors. There's new interior and deleted interior colors. I'm not gonna sit here and list every single one of them, so just take a look at them for yourself. Next up, let's talk about the LCD instrument cluster. There's got a 12 point, there's got, that sounded country. <laughs> there is a 12.4 LCD instrument cluster inside the Mustang on all of them, and I think it's fantastic. It looks great. And speaking of screens that look great, you've got a brand new Sync 4 QNX system, which by the way, if you're not familiar, that is actually co-engineered with BlackBerry Limited, and that comes with a 13.2 inch center stack. And you've also got some uh, wireless phone charging capability is available depending on the trim level that you select. Also, you've got some interior accent, color seat belts, uh, flat bottom steering wheel and GTs. But another killer that I couldn't believe that I'm seeing, but I kind of guess I can, is there's no more AM radio in the Mustang at all. End of paragraph, that's crazy. So let's jump into the different trim levels, what's available and what do you get in each one of those trim levels. So let's have a trim level recap real quick. You've got the EcoBoost, EcoBoost Premium, the GT, the GT Premium, and the Dark Horse. The EcoBoost is going to be the standard equipment, and that is going to be a 100A equipment group. Now, you also happen to have a 101A equipment group, but let's, let's cover what's included in that 100A equipment group first. Line Lock. If you don't know, Line Lock is a burnout mode from the factory. So you got a burnout mode from the factory, you got a drift brake. What is Ford trying to do to us out here? The <laughs> <laughs> These crowds are going to be hit left and right. Anyways, 10-speed automatic transmission is going to be standard in this 100A equipment group. That's a 10R80 in case you're curious. As I've already mentioned to you, hood struts are standard equipment on all Mustangs, including this 100A equipment group. You've got LED sequential taillights that are included across the board on all Mustangs. You know, that's that one that goes tuck, tuck, tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. You get the idea. It's better than just an on off, on off. It actually is sequential going out. Did you know that the Mustang no longer comes with a spare tire in the trunk? Well, it's available on later trims, but on this one, it comes with a tire inflator kit. 
from the standard factory. That's that's very interesting. You also have a four-way headrest, which is great if you're gonna be like racing the vehicle and you need a helmet and you wanna tilt it back, you can do that. It tilts up, it tilts forward and tilts back. That's where the four-way up, down, front, back. Also, you've got airbags that are dadgum everywhere on these Mustangs. You've got a driver knee airbag, a driver and passenger side impact airbag, a dual front airbag, a glove box door integrated knee airbag, a driver and passenger head side airbag for the convertibles. And if you've got a fastback, you've got the side curtain airbag. Okay, that was, <laughs> you have no idea how many takes that took. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into the next feature and that's going to be the remote keyless entry system. So yeah, you got a remote, unlock and lock on all of them. And in addition to that, you have intelligent access with push button start. So when you walk up to the car and stick your hand in that door handle, guess what? The car will automatically unlock. You don't have to actually hit the button if you don't want to. And when you get in it, as long as the key's in the vehicle, you hit the start button with your foot on the brake and the thing roars to life. Next up, I wanna talk about the convertible because a convertible is available on every one of these Mustangs with the exception of the Dark Horse. And there's also a few caveats that I'm not gonna get into the weeds on that kind of stuff. But if you do opt for the convertible package, know that you get the security package standard equipment on all of them, which if you don't know, that is a couple of different things. Um, motion sensors on the inside. Uh, you also have a electronic locking center console, which is great for cars and coffee. You can leave your windows down. Don't have to worry about someone snatching something because it's secured. It's pretty cool stuff there. Ford Copilot 360 is also included in this package as well. So you've got auto high beams, blind spot information system, lane keeping assist, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, post-impact braking, which is basically if you were to get in an accident, the vehicle applies the brake instantly so that we don't accidentally roll into another vehicle causing another impact. Pretty interesting. I never really thought that I would need that until I was like, oh, wow, that's actually pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, you also pick up a rear view camera. Uh, you get a rain sensing windshield wipers, backup sensors, and so much more. But let's just keep moving because we got a lot of ground to cover. Let's talk about the convertible. Did you know that it gets active noise cancellation, which basically uses the microphones in the vehicle and the speakers in the vehicle to automatically try and cancel out the, the reverberation of that soft top? Ford engineers are apparently smarter than this boy from Alabama. <laughs> Let's run into the next thing, Ford Pass Connect. This is a feature I've really grown to love. It is a smartphone app. Where's my smartphone? I, my smartphone's hit somewhere here, but you basically can hop on your smartphone, lock it, unlock it, remote start it, do a lot of different things right from the convenience of your smartphone. And I think it's fantastic. Sync 4 with the QNX system. I've already mentioned that. That is standard equipment, even on the 100A equipment group. And as I've already mentioned to you, that is co-engineered with BlackBerry Limited. Also, you get track apps, which is a really cool feature that's going to allow you to track yourself and time things and basically just see what that vehicle is capable of. It's a really neat little integration into that instrument cluster. But let's jump into the high package. So everything I just covered up to that point is a 100A equipment group standard equipment. What do you get when you step up to the 101A high package of that base model? Well, you get a couple of different things. You get an upgraded stereo system with nine speakers. You get dual climate control. So that way if you and your spouse are, you know, one's hot and one's freezing, guess what? Everybody can be happy. You also pick up six-way power driver heated seats. So you got six-way power seats on the driver's side, but both seats are in the front are gonna be heated. So that's pretty cool. And you also get satellite radio, Sirius satellite radio, and you get a slightly upgraded wheel and tire package. Now let's jump into the freestanding packages. The very first thing uh, is you get a 2.3 liter high performance package. This is optional. You don't have to get this but it is available on both the 100 and 101A package. You get quite a few different things. 355 gears, you get a 19 inch upgraded wheel, you get some summer only rated tires. So be careful if you live up in Michigan, you might not want this package or at least have a set of winter tires to go with it. But you get a strut tower brace to help tighten up that and stiffen up that suspension as well as upgraded suspension system as well as a lot of different things like custom painted brake calipers and so much more. Next up, let's jump into the wheel and stripe package for the Mustang. I know this is gonna shock a lot of you, but it comes with a wheel and a stripe. <laughs> <laughs> All joking aside, you get a 19 by eight and a half inch wheel, you get a hood stripe and you get a side stripe. It's literally what it comes with. Next up, let's talk about the Mustang Night Pony package. That comes with a 19 inch set of black wheels and upgraded tires. And it pretty much comes with something that blacks out everything. You got badges, mirror caps, uh, blacked out spoiler, a blacked out roof, unless you order a black, 
vehicle, then the roof is already black. And then you also pick up headlamps with a black bezel around it. Now, one of my favorite <laughs> options is going to be the active valve performance exhaust. When you do that, you automatically get quad tips, quad chrome exhaust tips, and you get my favorite feature, remote rev. So check that out. Next up, let's talk about the EcoBoost premium package. With that, you get two different equipment groups. Let's talk about the first one, 200A equipment group first. And the very first thing you get with that is an approach detection lighting. So the vehicle can sense when you walk up closer to it with the keys in your pocket and the whole thing lights up to make sure you can see what's around the vehicle. It's a really cool feature. You also pick up an upgraded deck lid spoiler, uh, all season tires, 18 inch wheels, aluminum foot pedals. So basically everything on the inside is going to be a whole lot nicer, a whole lot more premium on that inside, as well as an ambient lighting system on the inside with my color. So you can completely adjust the interior coloration to whatever it is that you want to see. In addition to that, you also get dual climate control system. You get a heated steering wheel, which I will bet you that they will probably take that feature off or have a delete feature with that because they Ford have been deleting uh, heated steering wheels all over the place. Another really cool upgraded feature on this version of the EcoBoost it's going to be the magnesium framed curved glass display. That's that really nice wrap around display that kind of connects that instrument cluster to the center stack. It looks amazing. A couple of other things you pick up, leather wrapped steering wheel. You've got climate controlled seats. So air conditioned, or I guess technically Ford calls them ventilated seats, as well as heated seats are gonna be included there. You get a six way power driver seat with lumbar support, a four way passenger seat, and also active X interior seats. So what is active X? That is the faux leather, if you will. I mean, if I didn't tell you it wasn't leather, you probably would never know. It's a vegan alternative to leather. Now, the next thing we want to talk about is the nine speaker stereo system. And you also get an amplifier with it this time. In addition to that, you get Sirius satellite radio, remote start system, wireless car charging for your cell phone, and also a mirror mounted USB. I read that and I was like, I don't know what that is exactly, but let me know in the comments down below if you know exactly what Ford's talking about there. Next up, let's talk about the 201A equipment group. This is the high package of the EcoBoost Premium. So what do you get there? The Bangin' Olufsen 12 speakers, and that includes a subwoofer in the trunk. You can have a little thump in the trunk, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, you got a Ford Copilot, a 360 Assist. You see, I'm getting tongue twisted because there's so many different versions of Ford Copilot 360. You got Ford Copilot 360, Assist, Assist Pro. It's a lot of different versions, terrible naming scheme, but it is a fantastic feature. And in this version of it, you pick up adaptive cruise control, which basically senses that vehicle in front of you with radars. It can even bring you to a complete stop and it can resume you with just the center button, just press the button on the steering wheel. In addition to that, you get lane keeping, lane centering, which as long as you keep your hand on the steering wheel, it'll actually turn for you. And you also get pre-collision assist with camera and radar fusion, which, that's the first time I've ever heard Ford say that, but basically what I can tell is it uses the radar in the front bumper, the camera in the windshield, and it infuses those together to help you get a better pre-collision assist. It can even detect pedestrians in certain situations. So pretty crazy stuff there. You also pick up speed sign recognition so the car's camera can tell what the speed limit is and make recommendations to you to slow down, speed up, all that kind of stuff crazy. Also, you get automatically the Premier Trim Interior Color Group, which basically gives you a, a whole lot of different things, but a couple of highlights, memory seats uh, and memory mirrors. You've got a universal garage door opener and also the security package if you don't have the convertible, because I've already mentioned to you, come standard on the convertible. So next, let's talk about the freestanding packages that you get available with this version of the EcoBoost Mustang. First is going to be that 2.3 liter high performance package uh, that I think we might have already talked about before. But anyways, if we have, I'm just going to put it right there on the screen because I'm not going to sit here and tell you about it over and over and over and over again. You also get the wheel and stripe package, the Mustang night pony package, and also the, this is the first time you've heard this one, the bronze appearance package. This is pretty cool. You get the 19 inch sinister <laughs> bronze wheels. <laughs> and also upgraded tires and uh, some bronze package badges and all that kind of stuff. And as far as the standalone options, those are going to be very complementary to what we've already talked about on the EcoBoost. So next up, let's talk about the next trim level. But before we do that, I do want to let you know that our dealership, Town & Country Ford, is taking Mustang orders and we are guaranteeing no dealer markups on any of these Mustangs guaranteed. So 
If you're interested in placing your order with a reputable dealer that is very public and has a reputation to stand up for and to live to, uh, hit us up. The phone number is right there below and we'll be happy to take your order and get that taken care of for you with absolutely no hassle. If you're sick of the traditional car dealer lifestyle or the car, the way a dealership treats you, this is the place you want to order it. Now let's just move on into the next thing. And that is the Mustang GT with a 5.0. The GT comes standard with a 300A equipment group, and that's gonna include everything that we've talked about on the EcoBoost standard, plus everything that I'm fixing to mention, fixing. That was countries. I've really got to, I've really got to work on that. 355 limited slip rear differential. Obviously, you get the 5.0 V8. And here's one thing that I'm really curious to see is the, according to the ordering guide, there's no stop start. I hope that's the case because uh, I don't know of anybody that really likes that option. But anyways, you also get larger brakes all the way around with four piston calipers. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is the transmission. You get an MT82 D4 manual transmission. You've got a dual mass flywheel and a twin disc clutch. It's a lot of words. Just know that it's an upgraded transmission. <laughs> and you also get rev matching. So the idea, if you don't know what rev matching is, if you are wanting to downshift, you know, drop a gear and leave, when you put your foot on the clutch and you want to put it into that lower gear, the engine will automatically rev up to the perfect RPM so you can slide it in gear and haul butt. Pretty cool stuff. The next thing, you do get a GT dedicated exhaust system so that way you can hear them V8 ponies, you know, those bald eagles. <laughs> <laughs> you also get hood vents, uh, spoiler, uh, different front fascia from the EcoBoost, upgraded 18 inch wheels, a 12.4 LCD instrument cluster, and a flat bottom leather steering wheel. You also get manually adjusting seats, auto dimming rear view mirror, a mini spare wheel and tire, which is interesting that it you get a spare tire on the GT, but not on the EcoBoost, but they didn't ask my opinion. And you also get electronic sound enhancement. I'm very curious what that's gonna sound like because how could it sound any better than a normal V8? But you know, time will tell as we get a chance to drive this thing for the first time. Now let's talk about the 301A equipment package. That's the high package on the normal Mustang GT. And you do pick up the nine speaker stereo system, ambient lighting system, dual climate control, a six-way power driver seat with heated seats for both the driver and the front passenger, and you also pick up Sirius satellite radio with HD radio. Now let's talk about some of the freestanding packages. Again, a lot of this might be redundant. First up, let's talk about the GT performance package. You get the premium upgraded 19 inch wheels. Ford's claiming a 19 inch Brembo brake system, which doesn't make any sense because if you have a 19 inch wheel and a 19 inch brake, you're not gonna be able to turn the wheels. So what I think Ford's trying to say is it's, a, it's an upgraded brake system made for 19 inch wheels. But anyways, it's got performance linings and uh, the upgraded brake logos. So you can actually upgrade and choose the color of the brake calipers. I'm a little bit more on that. The other thing is when you pick up this GT performance package, you pick up that drift brake that I was talking about. I just, I drift brake. <laughs> from an OEM is absolutely insane. You also pick up some front tow hooks. Uh, you get a complete chassis stiffening from the front to the rear by using K braces, which is basically a brace that's shaped in the letter of a K. So like, this is really hard stuff, but it's mounted underneath the vehicle to stiffen up that chassis. You also pick up a strut tower brace to stiffen up the top side of the vehicle. And then you also pick up some heavy duty springs, an upgraded rear spoiler. And then also you pick up an upgraded torsen differential, which you're gonna get either a 3.73 gear ratio or 355 gear ratio, depending on whether you're getting the automatic or the manual transmission. So just kind of keep that in mind. And it also comes with a lot more, but I'm not going to sit here and bore you with all of those details. The next thing I do want to talk about is the Mustang Night Pony package. Uh, just like the EcoBoost, it's going to black out basically everything. Plus you get some slightly different wheels and tires because it is a GT after all. Next up, let's talk about the GT Premium package. This one's a little bit different than what we've talked about before, but the very first thing you need to know is the 400A equipment group is going to be the standard version of the GT Premium. So it gets you basically everything on the GT standard equipment, plus you get the uh, approach lighting that we kind of mentioned to you on the normal EcoBoost Premium. Uh, once again, there's a lot of different variations of this, but when you do get that Premium 400A, you do get the approach lighting. So you walk up to the vehicle, 
vehicle automatically knows you're there and turns on the lights for you. Upgraded 19 inch wheels, aluminum foot brake pedals, and a whole lot more creature comfort upgrades, just like we mentioned in that EcoBoost Premium. Next up, let's talk about the 401A equipment group. You get the banging Olufsen 12 speakers, including the subwoofer in the trunk, the illuminated door sills, premier trim color accent group, the security package, once again, if you're going with the fastback because it's included on the convertible, and then you also get the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus. And next up, let's talk about the GT Performance Package. Yeah, we just went over that. So if you missed that, back up in the video just a little bit and watch that again. That's what it comes with. And as well as the EcoBoost Premium, you also pick up the ability to do the bronze appearance package on this GT, which comes with the bronze wheels and the bronze badging. The Mustang Knight Pony Package is also a freestanding package that's available on this version, as well as the Ford Copilot Assist Plus. So if the Mustang GT is not enough horsepower or flash for you, Ford has come out with the all new, Dark Horse. And before we jump into exactly what's included in that, I want to go ahead and let you know we are sold out of the Dark Horse. Don't call us. So for the 2024 model year, we got a very, very limited number and every single one of them is spoken for, but I still want to learn to you something in this video. So let's go over exactly what you get. The standard equipment on that is going to be the 600A equipment group, and it's going to come with pretty much everything horsepower related. If you're wanting a pure track car, and you don't want as many frills, the 600A equipment group is going to be what you want because it comes with the active valve performance exhaust system with the black tips. You get the massive Brembo six piston front calipers with the larger rotors. You get a dual air intake box, a dual throttle body. You get that drift brake that I've been boasting about this whole time. And really what makes the Dark Horse so special is going to be the modular 5.0 V8 dual overhead cam, electronic fuel injection, naturally aspirated with no start stop system. It, this motor is a monster. The way that I've been trying to explain this, this is kind of like the GT350 type of a motor, but not really. I mean, it's not, you know, the flat plane crank or anything like that, but it is a hopped up naturally aspirated 5.0 V8. That's the way that I'm looking at this thing. A couple of the ways that they have accomplished that is with coolers pretty much everywhere because it's gonna be hammered on the track. So you've got coolers for the engine oil, the transmission, and even the differential. And in addition to that, you also pick up heavy duty front springs, a magna ride dampening system. So basically you can adjust the damping of the suspension system while you're driving down the road. That's pretty cool. A strut tower brace in the front to make sure that it stiffens up that chassis as best as possible. And it even comes with a fancy looking little dark horse badge on that uh, strut tower brace. You also pick up an upgraded Tremec six speed manual transmission with that rev matching uh, that we've been talking about a couple of different times. Torsen limited slip differential with the 373 gears in the back. I think that's gonna get you going to where you need to go. It's gonna get you uh, not, not the best fuel economy, but if you're buying, if you can't afford the gas, you can't afford a car. You also pick up a unique specific chassis tuning, 19 inch wheels, summer only tires. You get a specific rear spoiler that's a dark tarnish that's made specifically for that dark horse. You get a hood vent that's unique to that dark horse. Oh, on the interior. I love, I know we've talked about this on a couple of the other trim levels earlier in this video, but the magnesium framed curved glass display that is a fantastic looking interior feature. So you're not going with like a base model interior on the 600A equipment group because you still get the leather flat bottom steering wheel and the suede inserts. Oh, hey, check this out. Every single one of these dark horses have got a specific unique chassis number that's gonna be displayed on the dash with that dark horse IP. Ooh, it looks so good. Let's get back to the rest of the interior. You get a six way power driver with lumbar seat and both of those front seats are going to be heated cloth seats. It's very interesting that it's cloth, but when we step up to the 700A equipment group, that's really when you pick up the niceties on the inside, the aluminum foot pedals, the approach detection lighting we've talked about, the climate controlled seats. So you pick up the heated and cooled seats in the front driver and the front passenger, but just note that that's not available with the Recaro seats. So if you like heated and cooled seats, 
You don't need the Recaro seats. Just keep, kind of keep that in mind. You also pick up memory driver seat and also the mirrors to go with that. Universal garage door opener, premier trim interior accent group, security package, a whole lot of stuff is included on that upgraded equipment group. As far as the freestanding packages are concerned, there's some unique ones on the Dark Horse. So you've got the Dark Horse handling package. My understanding, this is a late availability option. So if you've got an order with your dealer, and you've got this option and you're trying to get the car as fast as possible, this may not be the option for you. You might wanna take this off. But if you do opt for that, you do get a 19 inch by 10 and a half inch front wheel. <laughs> that is so wide. And then you get a 19 by 11 in the rear. And these are a dark tarnished wheel. And the, the tires on these things are massive. 305 30 19s in the front and 315 30 19s in the rear. So keep in mind that since the Dark Horse has got a staggered set of wheels, meaning larger tires in the rear and smaller tires in the front, you can't rotate them to get better mileage out of those tires. You basically just drive the tires until you're done. You also pick up quite a few other things like the adjustable strut top mounts, which is interesting, just kind of dialing it in for the track, front tow hooks, magnetic dampening system, performance rear spoiler with a gurney flap for extra downforce, and also revised chassis tuning specific for that dark horse. One of my favorite options on the dark horse that may be impossible to get your hands on are gonna be the carbon fiber wheels. Now on my Ford GT, that's my favorite thing about that car is there's carbon fiber everywhere. And the fact that you've got carbon fiber wheels, it really lightens up that vehicle significantly. And so if you are feeling gutsy and you think you can get it, you might wanna opt for that wheel. And Finally, let's talk about the last package that you can get on the Dark Horse, and that is going to be the Dark Horse Appearance Package. You pick up an additional blue accents throughout the seats, you get a black painted roof, and you get the unique brake calipers that have got notorious B.I.G., I mean, notorious blue <laughs> with Grabber Blue logos. Oh man, this thing absolutely looks sick. But I'm curious to know, what do you think down below? Leave those comments. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll remind you again, hit us up if you're interested in ordering your Mustang today at Town & Country Ford. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a great day. Peace.